Hi, I'm Tom. And I'm Dom. And we are Tom, Tom and Dom, Dom Travel. We recently took a cruise on Sky Princess for 14 nights and we sailed out of Southampton. We visited a number of ports in France, Portugal and Spain. Can you believe it? We're at day 10 already and today we're in the beautiful port of Malaga. So Malaga is a port that we've been to on previous cruises but only for embarkation or disembarkation and never actually had time to explore the port before. So we were pretty excited uh, to actually get off and have a look around Malaga. As it's become routine now, up nice and early, quick breakfast in the buffet and headed straight off the ship to see what we could find. Disembarkation was relatively easy. Nice. Malaga's quite a large port yeah. and they do offer a transfer bus, but it's not free. Yeah. Now, we had a discussion with passengers that had already been to Malaga and they told us it was only a 30 minute walk. So we took their advice and we decided to take a leisurely stroll into the centre of Malaga. Yeah, Malaga being a city did have other public transport options, one of them being those e-scooters that you now see as well in the UK to transport you around the city. So if you are feeling brave, you could use one of the e-scooters to get around the city. But we weren't so we walked uh like dom said 30 minutes into town now this is a flat walk but i would say that if you did have mobility issues it is rather long uh to get into the town itself so it may be worth using those transfers during the walk um, we did manage to get some spectacular views of sky princess yes it was one of the only times actually that she'd moored in uh birth in a a space where we could actually get a good view of her. The area around Malaga Port uh, has recently been redeveloped so it's got a nice fresh feel to it. Lots of uh, bars and restaurants as well as uh, parks and art attractions. Yeah there is a um, like big box, I'd describe it as a big box, big cube uh, with multicoloured like glass in it. So art. We'll put a picture of it you'll see what <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Okay, so from there we walked through um, a really nice area, garden, the Beautiful. gardens, which were stretched along the main road, actually so adjacent to the main road across the front um, of the sea area in Malaga. Uh, really lush green gardens, lovely and cool to walk through. Um, and as we were walking through these gardens, we noticed um, there were some stairs um, heading up towards the castle. As we were walking towards Malaga, we could see this path from a distance and we could see that it was really busy with lots of tourists and lots of people walking up. Yeah. So we thought, oh, there must be something exciting up there. So we decided to uh, head up to this castle that we could spot um, in the distance. So off we went. The walk is definitely not an easy one. It starts off with uh, the incline being relatively low, but it gets steeper and steeper as you uh, get higher and higher. Yes, so we thought, oh, this walk won't take us too long. We could see the castle when we were down on ground level. Um, so we thought, oh, it won't be long. Well, what we didn't realise is that the path that we were on um, took us to a viewing point. This viewing point did have spectacular views over the port of the bull ring, um, not the one in Birmingham. At the point we got to this viewing point, we realised we'd actually gone the wrong way. So there are two castles in Malaga, one lower down and one right high up. Uh, and what we realised was we were already halfway to the one that was right, right at, at the, the top, top of this mountain, yeah. And it was a glorious day in Malaga. The sun was shining, it was very hot and sticky, but after the viewing point, we managed to ascend. 
Yeah. We took our time, but had the... a few breaks under the shade. Yeah, we had to stop a few times because this path got steeper and steeper. Um, but there were a lot of tourists doing it, so we definitely weren't on our own and we were definitely knew we were heading in the, in the direction to the cafe, uh, to the cafe, to the castle at the highest point. After around about a 45 minute walk, a uh, steep incline, we made it to the top. Yeah. And what we found was a beautiful castle. Yes, yeah, so this castle um, had a little bit of a queue outside. So we went in the queue, but it wasn't long at all, about five minutes. Um, and there's an entry charge to the castle at three euros fifty per person. Uh, majority of the castle is um, unused at the moment. But what we did when we arrived, we had a little explore around, explored some of the rooms that are in the castle and um, some of the walls that are built around the castle are really high, but they offer spectacular, spectacular views. Yeah, so we decided to walk along the walls and just take in the scenery um, of Malaga and uh, you could see the ships that were uh, docked as well. Yeah, um, so by that time we were really warm, really thirsty from our walk up the castle and our walk around it. So, as usual for us, we went and found ourselves a little cafe. Lucky for us, there was one right in the centre of the castle, which was uh, under trellises with nice plants growing them vines, which made it a cool spot to sit, um, which we did. I ordered a coffee and you had... Uh, because it was so hot and we were sat outside, I had to have a, a, a lager. A cold lager. So, uh, just to quench your thirst, wasn't it? It was. We spent a, a good two hours exploring the castle, walking the walls, having a look at the history. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we decided to make our way back into the centre of Malaga. Yeah. Now, what must go up must come down. Yeah. So again, steep pathway down um, majority of the way from um, the castle. Uh, along the way, as you turn some of the sharp corners, people had set up little um, stalls and little shops where they were selling little trinkets and tourist souvenirs. Um, and then we continued down um, about halfway and we headed directly towards Ma Malaga city centre rather than the original way we came towards the port. As we had exited the walkway from the castle, we were directly uh, next to the amphitheatre in Malaga. Yeah. So we decided uh, to have a little sit down. We found a little local cafe and yeah. had some tapas and a uh, drink. Another drink, yeah. So uh, it was very warm that day, wasn't it? And we, once again, after our disaster yesterday at trying to get tapas in Cadiz, we thought we'd try again in Malaga. No problem, sat down, had a couple of tapas. Now these tapas were, well, one of them was quite unusual. You ordered uh, chorizo with bread and I ordered the curry chicken curry skewers. chicken skewers. So these chicken skewers came in a sauce with a side of crisps. Um, it was, it was okay. Yeah. Un unusual. It was Not, unusual. I wouldn't order it again though. But a uh, pleasant place to sit. Really yeah. enjoyed uh, sitting there. Nice and shaded because they had the uh, pull out parasols. So it, it was quite a nice uh, place to sit and just watch people watch yeah. uh, on a beautiful day in Malaga. After our tapas and a little walk through uh, Malaga town, uh, we decided to make our way back to the port. Yep, so once again walked through those beautiful gardens um, along the seafront next to the main road that we spoke about earlier. There was areas where there were water features and fountains. And again, really cool place to walk. It felt great walking through those after the sun that we'd had all day. Once we come to the end of the gardens, we uh, took a right, headed back into the modern port area where we came across back to that cube and the famous restaurant Hard Rock Cafe. This area of the port was particularly busy, lots of people uh, visiting the bars, restaurants, retail outlets that are all lined up uh, along the, the port. 
what it is worth saying is that um, opposite the shops here, right next to the uh, port, is um, a few different vendors offering boat trips. Now, one of the ones to note is the um, Big Red Boat, Big Red Boat, which is the same company as the Big Red Bus, which in many places around the world does those uh, city tours. The Big Red Boat just takes you out of the port around the uh, bay close to Malaga and then back into port again. Once we were back on board Sky Princess, we headed straight up to the Lido deck where we enjoyed some time um, watching what was going on with the entertainment and doing a little bit more sunbathing. After a couple of hours uh, sunning ourselves on the Lido deck, it was time for us to go back to the cabin and get ourselves ready for the evening. Yes, definitely. So this evening we headed um, again back to the Soleil restaurant where uh, we took off our regular spot that we'd had before after last night's break where we went to the Crown Grill. So see yesterday's video if you want to see our experiences in the Crown Grill. So for this evening's meal mm. I had pork rib with vegetables and gravy and it was absolutely delicious. And I went for that British classic chicken tikka masala with rice and an onion barge in. All downed with a beautiful glass or two of Pinot Noir. Yeah, we had a Pinot Noir again. Double. Every, every night. Double measure. Uh, we can't go wrong with it. We loved it. So uh, we did it every night. Uh, After our uh, lovely dinner in the Soleil restaurant, we headed to Good Spirits, as we usually do, for a quick gin. Um, I think we had, a, well, you definitely had an ultimate gin and tonic. Absolutely. <laughs> Best drink on Your the ship. drink, yeah. And enjoyed the views over the atrium, as we usually do in Good Spirits, and chatted to a few of our fellow passengers. Uh, from there, we headed to Take 5. Yep, so we went into Take 5 uh, to experience the uh, cool stylings of the uh, Jazz Houseband. Yeah. So, um, and a few of their signature cocktails. Yes, so we had a couple of cocktails in Take 5 while we were waiting for the main show to start in the Princess Theatre. After a cocktail or two in Take 5, it was now time to head to Princess Theatre with the wonderful Jenny Williams. Now, she was spectacular, wasn't she? So she did a mix of opera songs and modern musical theatre songs. Uh, really enjoyed her set. Um, and we definitely want to see her again if she was on board. We'd highly recommend that you go and see her if she's performing uh, on any of your cruises. She is a, an amazing talent. After the performance by Jenny Williams in Princess Theatre, we thought we'd go to Princess Live yeah. and experience another vocal experience. Yeah with Princess Karaoke. Yeah, so our fellow passengers uh, decided to put on a show for us, but uh, wasn't quite the standard we'd had with Jenny Williams in. Still very, very good. They were. They were very good. And there were some okay performances. After enjoying the karaoke, where there were definitely some um, entertaining, yeah, entertaining performances, uh, we headed back to our room because we were really tired from our busy uh, hike up the hills in... Still haven't recovered from that hill. <laughs> ...in Malaga to the castle, um, and ordered ourselves some room service. After eating our room service, uh, it was time for us to head to bed, because we've got another busy day tomorrow. Yeah. In... We're off to Cartagena. Cartagena, day 11. 11. Thanks for watching. Join us tomorrow for day 11 in Cartagena. As always, if you've got any comments or questions, pop them in the box below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget to check us out on social media.